Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and this is going to be on how to uh, connect your printer to your computer using its IP address. Uh, now, in order to figure out uh, the IP address for your printer, um, what I did is I have an I have a time capsule that I use uh, for my Wi-Fi router. So I'm just going to get into Airport Utility, and as you can see, my time capsule is right here. And if I click on it it'll come up with all of the devices connected uh, to my network right now and as you can see my Epson printer is right over here and all you have to do is hover over the uh, the name of the device and it'll come up with all of this information uh, and what you want want to find is your IP address and as you can see mine is uh, 10.0.1.4 and now if I were to open up a window in a browser, you can go 10.1.0.4. Uh, as you can see right here, I have all of my uh, printer set up, uh, ways to configure my printer. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to get this to actually be a device on my computer. And the way I do that is by going into my system preferences and then opening up printers and scanners and then I just want to add a new printer and instead of um, clicking on my printer here or in case you can't see your printer here um, and this would be why you're trying to do an IP setup you would just come up here to the IP icon and after you click that you want to type in the IP for your device and this will take a little bit of time as it searches the network um, it should take about 30 seconds or so uh, so I'll skip ahead to when this is done so you can see uh, what it'll show. Alright, now as you can see, it says there's my address right there. Um, I usually don't have to change the protocol when I add an IP printer, so you shouldn't have to worry about this. Um, now here for the name, I'm just going to change this to Epson Test because I'll delete this after I'm done. Um, you can add a location if you want, but um, another thing that you want to know here is you want to make sure that you have your driver installed. And uh, if you watched my other video on uh, how to set up how I uh, set up my printer the first time, uh, you'll know that drivers can be very important uh, when trying to work with your printer. Uh, so this is how you can add a printer using your IP address. I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, if it does, you know. Please like this video, it really helps out. Uh, and if you're still having problems, uh, leave a comment below and I'll see what else I can do to help you guys out. Thanks.